Good morning and thank you for joining me for morning prayer on Tuesday the 22nd of December from St John's Tarry. I'm Father Peter Tinney. We will be using the Tuesday morning office on page 396 of a prayer book for Australia. The psalm this morning is Psalm 118 verses 1 to 18 on page 347 and the reading is from Mark's Gospel chapter 12 verse 41 to chapter 13 verse 13. We acknowledge the first peoples of our diocese, especially the Awabakal, Birupai, Darkenjung, Giwagal, Gamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle, A Song of God's Mercy. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 118, and we're beginning on page 347 at the foot of the page. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim that his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron proclaim that his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord proclaim that his mercy endures forever. In my danger, I called to the Lord. He answered and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I shall not fear. What can flesh and blood do to me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall see the downfall of my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust to flesh and blood. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put your trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I drove them back. They surrounded, they surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I drove them back. They swarmed about me like bees, they blazed like fire among the thorns. In the name of the Lord, I drove them back. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. The sounds of joy and deliverance are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does mighty things. The right hand of the Lord raises up. I shall not die but live and proclaim the works of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me hard, but has, he has not given me over to death. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness, now and forever. Amen. A 
reading from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 12, beginning at verse 41. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she out of her poverty has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. As he came out of the temple, one of the, one of the disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what large stones and what large buildings. Then Jesus asked him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, and jo John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign that all these things are about to be accomplished? Then Jesus began to say to them, Beware that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name and say, I am he, and they will be led astray, and will, they will lead many astray. When you hear of wars and rumours of wars, do not be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is still to come. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines. But this, this is but the beginning of the birth pangs. As for yourselves, beware. For they will hand you over to councils, and you will be beaten in synagogues, and you will stand before governors and kings because of me as a testimony to them. And the good news must first be proclaimed to all nations. When they, begin, when they bring you to trial and hand you over, do not worry beforehand about what you are to say, but say what is, whatever is given to you at the time. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Brother will betray brother to death, and father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, the Song of the Blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray.
purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we come to you before we begin our day's work, as we ask you to bless this day. May we find whatever is good in the tasks that we are set and the time that we share. Help us when we find th some things too hard to understand. Teach us to be fair and generous and kindly with one another. So may we thank you for a day well spent. Amen. We pray for the world, for the church and those in need. Father, we pray for communities around the world confronted with the ongoing impacts of COVID-19. For individuals and families living with the virus, for those who've lost family members, for communities living in fear, for places where COVID-19 has exacerbated other inequities. We pray for the people of Sydney faced with the recent outbreak and those whose Christmas plans have been shattered. We ask your blessing on medical and emergency staff providing direction, care and support to communities affected. Bring calm and patience to us as we confront these many challenges. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, Assistant Bishops, for our clergy and lay leaders as we respond thoughtfully to those in our communities. We pray today for the clergy and people of the parishes of Terrigal, Camden Haven, The Entrance and Tookley Budgie Boy. For hospital chaplains, staff and volunteers at Newcastle, Hunter Region and Central Coast Hospitals and for their patients. We pray for the brothers of the Society of St Francis. Bless us all in our preparations for Christmas and for family gatherings. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Have a blessed day.